Cool. So the first one we're going to start with is a sort of a tree scene. This is going to be super, super loose and super quick. So we've got a big tree here, some kind of parkland, and then a little one there, and then a bit of a hill. Um, we're going to have a, a fence here. Uh, we're going to just do some small repeating lines and then back here there's going to be a small tree and then something bigger there and then something even bigger there So that's about as quick and daft and rough as you can be. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to let that line work dry and I'm going to go on to the next one and I'm going to come back and do these um, with some watercolour. So the next one is going to be a little scene of a kind of boat and a lighthouse. So again this is pretty, um, pretty loose. Oops, I'm trying to do sort of the continuous line drawings here. It's a good challenge. So tonight's playlist is currently uh, Magic Carpet Ride by Steppenwolf. Really when you're sketching I'd love to put a bit of music on. It's a bit harder to think and sketch when you've got music in headphones but I don't want to distract you guys with loads of music so Feel free to stick something on, grab yourself a beer or a cup of tea or something and have a go at some of these. So obviously these are all just completely made up, made up shapes. I have some of the tutorials about uh, Drawing trees, which is quite fun. You can check those out. So what do I do with this line? Do I go down to here and then back? Or do I just leave it like that? I quite like it like that. I'll leave it there. I don't know how this one is going to work out. It's going to be really sketchy. So it's just a little idea I had for a, I had for a, a drawing the other day. Somebody once said to me that um, you never know when it's going to happen, but one day is going to be the last time that you carry your child on your shoulders. And um, it's one of those sort of like crazy, happy, sad thoughts, really. Because in a way, it's nice to be free from that stage. This is again another continuous line type drawing, but equally, I mean, those years are golden, aren't they?
So this is a bit of a... This is a bit of a uh, hodgepodge of a drawing, but... I don't know. It's fine. These are quick. You could use pencil. You could lay these out properly, do something quite detailed, but this is not Friday night for me. <sighs> Friday night for me is having a bit of a play, listening to some Jones, doing a bit of sketching, so rock and roll in my old age. <laughs> I could do a cityscape, but I've done that in another demo, so I might do something different. I might do just do a little bit of suburbia. Uh, so I'll do a bit of a wobbly shape and then maybe a roof line. Uh, and then what we're doing here, yeah. And then we're going to come down here. All these lines, all telling their own little stories. This is just out of my head, but I, I have a building in my head, and I'm trying to <laughs> trying to get it out. Sounds weird. Uh, right, I'm going to try and be a bit looser with this because I think I'm overthinking it. I think I'm getting a bit fiddly. Same thing here, and now Toby at uh, Toby's Urban Sketch has done some speed sketches, and they were fantastic. Uh, if you haven't checked out his channel, do I'll put a link below. Um, Okay, so this is spiraling out of control. It's a monster. I know what this needs. It needs an aerial. Yep, and then back over the. If I was better at animals, I'd draw a little cat up here because that would make me very happy. And there's a chimney, and another chimney there. Okay, so. There you go. I should maybe do some more houses of it. I'm cheating, I know, but it's my drawing, so get off my back, all right? Here we go. Okay, so the next one is is a sort of cityscape. And again, I'm going to use a continuous line technique. So you know what your city looks like. Uh, I'm sure there's a few buildings that are very familiar to you. Even if you live in a, a village, there's going to be some sort of silhouettes about the place. Something like that. I'm not quite sure what that is at the end. It's like some kind of phallic spaceship. Anyway, so that's just a quick sketch. I don't think it's particularly nice, but stop apologising. So there you go. Another sort of city, city skyline type thing. Right, so what can we do with those? We've got these lovely one-line drawings. Let's put some paint on them. 
some that quick, some that splashy, and something simple. So I'm not going to limit myself to like a minimum amount of colours or anything like that because I just want to enjoy it. I don't want it to be a sort of test of endurance. So I'm not going to limit myself to a colour palette or anything like that. I'm just going to do some speedy things. So I'm going to stick some water on here. I'm not going to be too fussy because I'm going to go back in. And then I'm going to pick up some French ultramarine. And I'm going to do a bit of this. And you see that spreading out? And go over here a bit, and then go up there a bit, go up there a bit, and go up there a bit. I'm not even going to let it dry. I'm just going to go around here, put some simple green on there. And then I'm going to get some Van Dyke Brown. Mix quite. And I'm going to... I'm just going to go in. And do all that. Put a bit of shadow under the trees there. And then, because I want a bit of a colour pop, what I might do is pick up a little bit of red for the boat. All I could do is bring a bit of this, bring a bit of this blue down here. And I'm going to go up to the boat because I want a bit of colour separation. go and that's gonna blow up into there don't matter so in my relaxed Friday night frame of mind I actually stopped the recording because the dog was pattering around and I forgot to turn it back on so I've missed a couple of stages on a few of these so I do apologize feel free to harangue me in the comments below or you know write me a letter email me um, you know send a carrier pigeon Morse code, letter drop, whatever. Um, okay, so let's have a let's have a look at these. I think for one line drawings with a bit of splash of colour on, some are more successful than others. But that's partly because I like some more than others. Um, this one's fun. It's very nice. I've seen it done a million times, but it's still fun. And uh, if you want to do a little card for someone, it's brilliant. I'm not so keen on this one. I think it needs. It needs something more, like, a, I mean, you could put a message on it, I suppose, you know, I hate Graham, or whatever, I don't know, I know a Graham and he's a lovely bloke, I'm joking, and, um, or you could put some windows on it, or, I don't know, roll it in glitter, I just think it needs something, but it's fun, I like the idea of a nation's flag on there, it's cheesy, but nice, I do really like this, um, it reminds me of Quinton Blake and those kind of illustrations, I'm not saying it's of that calibre, but it, it it reminds me of it reminds me of my last my daughter so that's nice. Um, this is quite fun. I like the way that that white line goes around here. Weirdly, I think this is a perfect, almost a perfect underpainting for a, for a, like a finished piece. Like if that was your first layer of watercolor, you you're on a good one there, and then you can go in and add detail like windows and stuff. But as it is, it's a perfect little uh, a little vignette. If that's the word. So that's fun. But this is the triumph, I think. I'll take this one for, for the win. I love the idea of it, and the colours work really well. That blue and the quinacridone gold. And that's sort of ultramarine, a bit of brown, and then just that quin gold. I think the framing's perhaps not perfect, and I think maybe I'd like to see a few more little windows in some of these houses, so that's an idea that can be developed into something else. I think as a big drawing, that would be really cool. Um, For, like, a, an alternative type of portrait for someone's house or something uh so yeah all good fun so yeah that was fun so thank you for joining me i would 
turn the camera around and wave at you, but I've got my dressing gown on and I, I look like a, a crazy fool. So you can just bask in these wonderful little colours and know that I appreciate you popping around again. You know where I am if you ever need a cup of tea or borrow some sugar. Alright, tatty bye. Night night.